uh, faster and more reliable, more or less, is the idea. And we start this with uh, the uh, teaching uh, later of the first year of the cognitive science curriculum. Uh, it's, uh, as you probably know, it's not, uh, it's not a standard thing, but uh, uh, what is standard is that this information technology course now is compulsory uh, in every Polish curriculum in the humanities and social sciences. And usually these uh, modules in uh, information technology consists of uh, teaching how to use uh, Word or Excel or that kind of stuff and we simply decided that this should be something useful. And that's why, that's why uh, we teach uh, uh, this a uh, little bit different way. And uh, some of our students then, uh, in fact, uh, quite many of them, uh, become interested in uh, writing papers, uh, attending conferences, uh, preparing presentations and that kind of stuff. They are very much into the science because uh, uh, the cognitive science curriculum at, at our university is, uh, well, uh, it's not vocational, uh, although we are affiliated at the Institute of Psychology. Uh, it's not vocational, so uh, at least half of, uh, half of our students I uh, have the experience with uh, some real scientific, some real scientific work. Is that the short out, uh, outline? Well, the statement of faith is simply uh, why do we love to work it later, and uh, to what we are trying to convince uh, our students and also our colleagues with uh, uh, quite surprising rate of. Uh, Success. So Pavel started it, and uh, I was probably the first, uh, the first convinced to use to use the, the, this uh, types of system. First, of course, versatility. If you work at, uh, mm, if you work on anything, in fact, it's kind of uh, life of the product. Uh, you need to take into account when you are doing your research, and uh, all of this at some stage became important. You start with research report, then you sub uh, submit something to a conference, then you prepare journal paper, presentations, probably posters, also book, but uh, that's rather rare. And for all this you need something that will be reliable. Versatility here is the starting point, because uh, all our students, our colleagues are aware that, uh, well, there is this method of the, of the famous researcher uh, copy and paste and uh, this basically can be done using Word or LibreOffice or something although sometimes in a messy way but when they discover that all this can be done much simpler uh, and in a much more reliable way using uh, later the, the usual start, start using and this reliability uh, by this reliability, I mean two things in fact. First is being reliable. I mean that uh, you can use the same part of, of code basically on any machine, on, on any system, and you can compile it uh, very easily. And second thing is uh, looking reliable. Uh, long, long time ago, when I remember I, I, I've been using things like uh, MS Word, I always envy mm, my colleagues from mathematics department that uh, they typeset uh, things, documents, such that even the content is uh, dubious, say, they look convincing and try to look convincing preparing, preparing a, a paper in, I don't know, Comic Sans or something like that, that's simply impossible. It simply looks professional. Uh, one thing is that working at uh, the cognitive science department is uh, uh, leads to some troubles uh, because, uh, in fact, we interact with uh, people from different fields. Uh, our major area of competence and of interest is formal logic. When you submit to when you submit to formal logic conference journal or whatever. There is, in fact, only one important thing. Just take care of your mouth. If this is types it correctly, everything else can be correct. For psychology and cognitive science, 
things are slightly more difficult uh, in a sense because you need to you need to obey uh, standards of American uh, Psychological Association and in fact that's one of the most important virtues of letter from the point of view of our students that is, uh, as you probably know, uh, the standards of American Psychological Association are quite detailed, especially in terms of uh, quotations, uh, references, and that kind of stuff. And uh, using, well, currently, both MS Word and LibreOffice can be used in such a way that some parts, at least, of this formatting can be automated. But in later, it's simpler, it, it, it's much simpler. So you don't need to uh, be aware how this should look like. Uh, you just receive, after compilation, you just receive the file that is exactly as it should be. And that's the point. Although it's uh, not always that easy because uh, uh, standards of APA are sometimes, uh, they sometimes are in contradiction with uh, standards for Polish type. <coughs> uh, it's, not, it's not always that easy. In case of philosophy, it's really simple. It's just make your paper look good and consistent, and that's all, nothing more. And in case of linguistics, it's, it's, it's more difficult because uh, at least our experience is that in this case, uh, every journal has its own requirements and can't help. You just have to, you just have to pay for it. Uh, it's not only that we it's not only that we teach uh, LaTeX, not only, not only that we request something from uh, our students. It's well in fact in fact they find uh, it's so useful that uh, I wouldn't say that we were forced, but uh, it was some kind of necessity to prepare uh, some special some special classes and style uh, files for our purposes. Uh, the things that we are quite quite proud of is a class for typesetting emetizers at our faculty. Uh, well, some students use it, especially especially people attending uh, my or Pavel's uh, MA seminar uh, because they write uh, their thesis on mostly logic, so that's quite obvious. Uh, we use we use uh, also uh, LaTeX for typesetting uh, a journal, which is uh, which we uh, are members of the editor board. Studia Cognitive Philosophy of Mind, Studies in Cognitive Science and Philosophy of Mind. Uh, we prepared a class for typesetting conference proceedings. We also prepared a book class. That was fun. Uh, because uh, it turned out uh, that the uh, uh, publishing house of uh, our university uh, is not able to produce a book in uh, later. They, uh, they used to, 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 to uh, uh, publish uh, things, uh, typesetting later, but uh, the, all the typesetting is outsourced uh, to some external company, and we just wanted to, to, to do this uh, our way, and uh, so we had to prepare we had to prepare our own class for uh, um, preparing books, and this present two presentations uh, by Pavel uh, you've seen you've just seen were prepared using fancy slides, uh, the custom Beamer slides class under development by the author, and. Uh, What's the point? The point is that uh, in order to put these things to work for people who are more or less laymen or accidental users, recreational users, or, <laughs> let's say, uh, you need to offer something that won't be scary at the beginning and will be visibly useful. So for example, these are just a few examples of things that we found uh, we found uh, useful in uh, our areas of interest, like drawing trees. Q-tree uh, package is maybe not the most sophisticated package for drawing trees, but uh, it's probably not that visible from this piece of code. But uh, 
the structure of the structure of a tree is uh, very simple, and drawing, planning your tree is uh, something that well maybe not fun, but uh, re result is uh, re reliable. And when one of my students types at uh, his uh, MA thesis uh, in uh, LibreOffice, I believe. <clears throat> By the way, uh, he was also a uh, graduate from the Poznan University of Technology, and was, I was quite surprised that he decided to do this in LibreOffice. Uh, he had to draw manually all this stuff, and this simply looked terrible. Uh, another thing uh, very useful in uh, uh, cognitive science and psychology, and also in linguistics to some extent, is uh, preparing of bar charts. <coughs> and this is something not that obvious and not that easy in editors like uh, LibreOffice. Here, here it's simply a simple piece of code that uh, lets you do exactly, exactly what you want, exactly what you need. Well, for more sophisticated packages, uh, you need to, for more sophisticated graphics, you need to employ something, something uh, more sophisticated and if you don't want to don't want to uh, sink into the manual of, of, of the PGF for example then you can use of course Inkscape uh, with this very uh, very nice uh, uh, feature of uh, export uh, graphics mm, to different formats our students simply love Beamer class uh, I can understand why uh, recently, I uh, recently I uh, received a question request from uh, somebody. Well, I don't know from from where, but the question was: uh, I put uh, almost all my slides online, so, and the question was: Oh, look great! What uh, uh, what scheme of PowerPoint are you using? <laughs> Sorry. And uh, uh, latest, latest, uh, 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 latest <laughs> development, but uh, uh, something we are very, very happy with is uh, the class for preparing posters. Not, uh, not uh, what well, maybe usual standard A0 poster class, but bad poster. This was done in this. This was done in this class. Very simple management, nice columns, customizability, and uh, uh, much simple. For example, color management than in anything else. And of course, some problems. Uh, the problem is that when you are um, living in the, when you are trying to uh, uh, sell the gospel in the land of Hitton, then there must be some problems. And the problems is uh, the problems are in the in the second dot that. Uh, uh, well, we are at least at our faculty. Uh, our faculty is not very um, friendly to uh, non Microsoft culture, so even 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 LibreOffice, you can uh, get into trouble. Uh, the problems we have is, for example, um, introduction of uh, visual uh, identification system for our university with uh, all these uh, beautiful schemes for templates, for uh, documents, for presentations and that kind of stuff. And of course everything uh, works only in, uh, in, in MS Word uh, and, and, and PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. and so we are about to prepare simply our own, uh, our own uh, our templates for uh, later. There are also some problems with uh, processing MA thesis because uh, at our faculty, um, the thesis before they go to the uh, go to the, the, the uh, MA commission, they had to be processed uh, in, in terms of uh, possible violations of uh, virtual properties and that kind of stuff. And uh, we received we received a requirement, official requirement from the dean's office that uh, all their MA thesis must be prepared in. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> no, not that bad. The formulation was that uh, it must be pre they must be prepared in uh, something like uh, open formats, and they were listed. Dots, dots x, and all uh, that. Okay. Open uh, probably because uh, 
the dean can, with double click, open the document. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only explanation. <laughs> Still yeah, and uh, something that is uh, sometimes uh, more um, problematic is this non-compatibility of different classes and this, this uh, specific format comments uh, for different journals. But of course, this is something that you can. It, this is a problem you can solve. And uh, I was very happy to conclude. I was very happy with uh, with this uh, argument by um, Zofia that. Uh, it will be really nice for uh, the missionaries in the land of Hitton to have uh, something like a simple source of uh, information. What should I use to get uh, specific results without the need of digging into the huge uh, manuals or uh, things like that. That will be really helpful both for both for uh, scientists which are accidental users and for us as a teachers of uh, LaTeX uh, to convince our students that this is something uh, worth spending their time on. Thank you very much. Okay, time for only one short comment or question. I have one. This was a very nice presentation. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, uh, and now we have Piotr Kolek. What? Yeah, yes. Piotr Kolek with.